what is a full width half max and what we really what we want to show here with an example basically is that uh, we actually do a measurement of our uh, LED and we come up with this spectrum where you can see that uh, we, we get a certain intensity for the LEDs so we, that is the we find the maximum intensity um, for our LEDs and basically say that what, where is the half point of these LEDs so the half point is somewhere at uh, in this case uh, its uh, intensity is 140 so the half intensity would be 70 so you basically draw two points over there at those uh, 70 uh, intercepted uh, 70 intensity of 70 and then drop down from those uh, points in this case we are talking about approximately uh, the high of 277 and the low of 250 so the full width half max in this case would be approximately 277 minus 250 which is about 27 nanometers taking another example where um, again uh, uh, this particular LED has a, a maximum at uh, approximately 265 nanometers the intensity for this is uh, 120 so you are looking at a, 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 a intensity of 60 as a half, a half max and basically dropping the, the uh, dropping onto the wavelength aspect of it and what we see is that this is somewhere between 257 and uh, uh, 252 which is uh, uh, approximately 5 nanometer full width half max so that is what we uh, do uh, for, for the uh, full width half max measurements now why is full width half max very uh, critical when you are designing your system you really need to know where the light output is coming in from so so if if the when the spectrum is pretty wide uh, you are going to uh, have light output which is not very useful for you uh, so so by knowing what is the full width half max that will give you a very good uh, idea of the uh, of the full width half, uh, of the light light coming out of your LEDs